What's happening, everybody? Of course, it's your host, Young Brinky. You're tuning in to the number one music and entertainment TV show in the Mid-South, Brink TV. Now, joining me is a very beautiful lady who is no stranger to the Brink TV show. Yes, you are beautiful. Yeah, hi. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Please welcome the beautiful Demetria McKinney. How you doing? I'm great. How are you? I'm doing well. It's, it's very amazing to see you in Memphis, you know, oh, my hometown. I, I gotta love say that. Memphis. Absolutely, absolutely. So, uh... Before we get into this interview, you know, please allow me to do my rendition of ESPN Sports Center, okay? Work, work it. <clears throat> now, the Chicago Bulls are off to an excellent start this year, you know, so far in the season. They're mm -hmm. perfect 2 and 0. One of those wins actually came from LeBron James and the Cleveland Cavaliers. If the Bulls can stay healthy, I actually think that they might be the team to beat in the Eastern Conference. What do you think? I agree. Absolutely, absolutely. Now, if you don't mind, let's go ahead and switch things over to the NFL. Now, huh. the Dallas Cowboys are off to an embarrassing now, two wait, and now, four start. Now, wait, now, wait, now, stop. Uh, I, 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 I can't oh, do this interview. That's I can't right. Do this interview. That is your favorite team, right? And you know, he was real smooth with the. Sh yeah. He was real smooth with the shade. You right. know, but I'm not hurt. Most definitely. I'm not hurt. An embarrassing two and four start. You know, and you know the Cowboys are starting to remind me of a certain television show, very popular television show, The Walking Dead, because those guys are a bunch of zombies out there on the field. I mean, they're just horrible. What do you think? My name is Jeff. And if they keep up this way, and I believe you, but if they keep up this way, they won't even get a wild card spot in the playoffs. On the other okay. hand. Now, wait a minute, wait a minute. Let's just pause for a moment on all the shaderation that's going on here. Most okay? definitely. We are an injured team at the moment. We don't have Dez. We don't have Romo. We got some stuff going on, okay? We made a stupid trade, which you know who. Right. But, but, you know, I think that we have a chance, okay? Now, all it is that you came in, you came in here so nice, you know, Mr. Brink and everything. And I was, I was really, really excited to talk to you. But listen, let me tell you something, homie. I like Memphis, but I will thump you through the goalpost of life for talking about my Dallas Cowboys. On the other, and I believe you. On the other hand, I believe nothing. The Denver Broncos are off to an impressive six and zero start. So perfect, you know the way it looks. The Broncos will actually go all the way this year. What do you think, Demetria? Live on Sports Center. Totally agree. Back to you. And seen. So, like I say, what's what's going on? So, what brings you? What brings you to Memphis? We're here for the R. Kelly Black Panther. So, what brings you to Memphis? I have been fortunate enough to um, be trusted by R. Kelly to be a part of the Black Panties tour. Okay. Um, it started off as a one-off. I was just supposed to open one time. He came out and saw the show. And one of the beautiful things about having artists that have been in the industry this long is that they can see what they know can grow. Right, and if they right, believe right. in the seed and they water it and they plant it and they help to really, really nourish it, it has a chance. And right. I, re I appreciate him really seeing something in me. Absolutely, absolutely. And that's definitely a blessing within itself. Absolutely. <laughs> Now, since we're talking about music, of course, the Bring TV show has been playing your single, your Thank video, you. trade it all like crazy. Thank you. As well as the collaboration that you got with Life Jennings. Like, how did that come about? Oh, my gosh. Life, you know, you know, Life, he's so cool. Most dev, hey, he's yo, so you. Cool. you. Hey, yo, you. You. Yeah, he was like, yo, you, you want to do a duet? And I was like, yeah. Right. Um, but the beautiful thing is, again, he's a guy who's not necessarily interested in what everybody thinks he should be go doing. He goes with what his heart feels. Right, right. And he felt like I would be great for the song, and I appreciate him for that. Absolutely, absolutely. Go ahead, talk about your album that will be coming out when? Album will be out at the top of the year. It's called Officially Yours. And this is just a really, really deep look into who I am as a woman. A single mom, still knows my sexy, still knows my swag, has my vulnerabilities, has had my challenges, but I, I really, really focus on the triumphs. And if that's you, this will apply. Um, Candy Burris is actually executive producing the album. Really? Yeah, really? man. Because at first, you know, I asked her on season I, seven. I remember. I was like, I want to work with you. And she was like, you uh, know, I don't really, uh, you know, I don't right. know. But we got it done. Um, really excited about that. And the upcoming single off of the album is called Unnecessary Trouble. Okay. And that's actually a duet with Candy. So I'm excited. That's awesome. I can't wait to hear it. Now, Thank tell you. me about this single, 100, that I heard you perform <laughs> tonight. Now, I kind of... I was feeling it. You was feeling it? I don't stay with my mom. You know no. what I'm saying? So I was, I was feeling the song. Yeah, yeah. You know, I, I think as ladies, we, you know, I can only speak from our vantage point. Most definitely. We have so many guys approach us with this flash and with this ching and with this whatever. And you know, that's fine if you can maintain it. Right, right. But don't come up buying me jewels and gifts and stuff. And once you get me, be like, hey, can I borrow $20 to put some gas in my car? Uh -huh. And it's not about the money. It's about 
sending yourself versus your representative. Right. And we'll do the same for you. And there's nothing worse than a guy coming to pick you up and taking you to his house and y'all eating DiGiorno pizza. But he picked you up in a BMW and y'all eating DiGiorno pizza. In an apartment. Right. Get your life together. Absolutely. Most definitely have to. Now, if <laughs> the people out there in Brink TV land might remember you from the hit series House, House of Pine. Pine. You know. Yeah. And, you know, one thing I got to say, I think that show was amazing because we really haven't seen that many groundbreaking black sitcoms since the 1990s you know what i'm saying now one thing i truly enjoyed about your portrayal as janine was the real life detail and the drug addict you know the story of her being a drug addict what would you say was the most difficult part in that portrayal i think the most difficult part in that portrayal was the after effect um janine came for me from a very real place i have family members with that addiction right right. and what we did when they came around was just you know hide your stuff don't show no jewels don't give him no money you know and he's gonna try to drink everybody under the table we never dealt with it right and so having to learn about what choices janine made and having to really just kind of go to edgewood over in atlanta and see them in their element and smell those things and see those things and be a part of that in any capacity changes your vantage point because i actually got to sort of walk in the shoes so the the most powerful part of it came from the change in knowing that that all stemmed from a choice wow that's deep and like i say you really played that role you Thank killed you. it i mean because i like the people were saying earlier you know she played a crackhead on tv she's not really a crackhead <laughs> you know no phaedra most definitely, most definitely. So go ahead, tell the people what you have coming up next. I remember you was telling me about some uh, movie roles that Absolutely. will be coming out. So go ahead, tell them about it. Yep, I have a movie called Sons to the Grave coming out. That's directed by Michael T. Williams. Okay. And he is the uh, the guy who played Bubba Gump. Okay. Amazing, amazing director. He gives you such inspiration for colors. And it stars myself, Darren Henson, and Atlantic recording artist Trevor Jackson. Oh, definitely. Yes, it's, it's gritty. You know, it deals with what's going on in our communities right now. And it deals with our choices and our ability to change our circumstances ourselves so that everybody on the outside has the opportunity to follow suit. Right. Um, I shot a pilot with Essence Atkins, Vivica Fox, Tony Rock, Carl Payne, and Lamont Ruff. Uh-oh. Ooh. <laughs> I see. Shout <laughs> out know, to Lamont. <laughs> grown sexy comedy, which okay. is something that I've wanted to do for a really long time. You know, everybody sees me play these dramatic roles, right. but I'm really a goofball. Right. Um, also, BET just picked up House of Pain. Really? Yes. Oh, All 250 something episodes. There's actually a marathon going on this Sunday, November 1st. Okay. And so they will be playing it there as well. So, you know, the acting bug is still there. That's amazing. That's amazing. And the music bug is very prevalent right now. Thank you. Go ahead, tell them all your Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, all that, where they can keep up with you. Yo, yo, y'all can follow me at Demi McKinney on Twitter, at Demetria, the number four reel on Instagram and Facebook. The website is DemetriaMcKinney.com. Shout out to the Demetrians. Thank you for all the love you guys give. Shout out to Brink TV. Thank you for all of the support you guys have given. And shout out to the Dallas Cowboys. We coming back on. Yeah, we just go edit that part out. But anyway, <laughs> shout out to uh, Shell. You know, she's one of the Demetrian. She's Shell a beautiful Bells. young lady. Yes. What's going on? Hey, I'm, hey, when I, you know, yeah. You oh. Know. Inbox, Instagram, all this stuff. But anyway, thank Ooh. you for coming on the show. Thank it really you. Really means a lot to us here at Brink TV. And with that being said, now back to more Brink TV.